Trata for Protection Against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our Lord Jesus Christ is the face of the Father's mercy. And nothing can stop us from spreading and sharing this mercy to our brothers and sisters in need. And so, to prepare ourselves to receive God's mercy in this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, 
forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all these put on love, that is, the bond of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God, the Father, through Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in His sanctuary. Praise Him in the firmament of His strength. Praise Him for His mighty deeds. Praise Him for His sovereign majesty. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise Him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise Him with lyre and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you who hear, I say, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you. And from the one who takes what is yours, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. 
if you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For He Himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful, just as also your Father is merciful. Stop judging, and you will not be judged. Stop condemning, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings for today are so rich with showing us the different traits and virtues that we need to possess. But I think there is one line in our gospel passage today that we can use to summarize all of these. The line is, be merciful just as also your Father is merciful. As Pope Francis would tell us, the face of God is mercy. Ang ating Panginoong Diyos ay maawain, may awa ang Diyos. And we have heard in the Gospel how we can live and how we can share this mercy of God to others. Jesus said to forgive those who have wronged us, to love our enemies, to do good even to those who do not love us, to give and not expect anything in return, to be generous to others without measuring any cost. All of these are the face of God's mercy. And we also hear it in our first reading today from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. When St. Paul reminded the Christians to put on our Lord Jesus Christ, to put on His compassion, His kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, and most importantly, to put on love, which is the bond of perfection, according to St. Paul. Ang atin pong mga pagbasa ngayong araw ay nagpapaalala sa atin na ang isang Kristiyano ay tumutulad sa mukha ng Diyos. At ang mukha ng Diyos ay ang mukha ng awa, pagpapatawad, pagmamalasakit, pagdamay, at pagbibigay, pagbabahagi sa bawat isa. Sabi ni Pope Francis, kung ang mukha ng Diyos ay awa, dapat ang simbahan din na katawan ni Kristo ay ganun din ang pinakikita sa kapwa. 
ang mukha ng awa ng Diyos. If the face of God is mercy, then the church, the body of Christ, should also show the face of God's mercy to others. Yesterday, we celebrated the birthday of Our Lady, and many of us were frustrated by not being able to go to church physically. But as I was, you know, uh, reflecting on this, uh, our frustration not to celebrate Mass physically, I was uh, able to see a beautiful reflection from a priest. In fact, he is a frontliner priest. No? He is Father Marlito Ocon, a Jesuit, who is the chaplain of PGH, of the Philippine General Hospital. And yesterday, he posted something on his uh, social media post. And I read a beautiful reflection of him. He said, we may not be able to celebrate Mass with a crowd, but, he said, there are a lot of people, a mass crowd, together with us here, whom we can celebrate the birthday of Mary, the poor, the sick in the charity ward of PGH, their families and their watchers together with them, and our frontliners. Tama nga naman si Father. Hindi man tayo makapagmisa ng sama-sama, hindi man tayo nakapag-celebrate ng birthday ni Mama Mary ng sama-sama sa simbakan sa misa, pero maari tayong mag-celebrate sa pamamagitan ng pagbabahagi sa napakaraming tao. Hindi man pumunta ang mga tao sa simbahan, pero ang simbahan ang pumunta sa mga tao. At doon, na celebrate ang birthday ni Mama Mary ng may pagbibigayan, paghanda ng pagkain para sa mga nagugutom at napapagod ngayong panahon. Maybe we are too focused on the complaint of not being able to celebrate Mass physically, but remember, the Church did not just complain. The Church was able to share and show the face of the mercy of God to others yesterday. And I know that it is not just those in the chaplaincy of the PGH, but I saw many priests and parishes, our communities, who were able to share yesterday the mercy of God on the birthday of Mama Mary. I saw different posts of churches, of our parish communities, distributing food to the poor. Yesterday, uh, the Tanging Yaman Foundation was able to share with us uh, rice and vegetables, and we were able to share it with the community of Santo Nino Parish here in Baseco. Yes, we were not able to celebrate Mass physically in the church, but still, we were able to celebrate the birthday of Mama Mary with the Mass, with the crowd of people waiting to be fed, waiting to be healed. I think that is the essence of being the church, showing the face of the Father's mercy to others. And so, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us remember that our work does not end here in this Mass. 
after the Mass, there will be more people whom we will meet today to whom we can share the face of the Father's mercy. Amen. We now turn to God the Father for the help that we need to follow the example of Jesus who tells us that we are to love our enemies. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may give witness to their people in the ways of pardon, love, and forgiveness, and so reflect God's holiness to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are angry and bitter with their neighbors may realize that giving in to feelings of resentment and hatred only separates them from God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That families who are divided and torn apart because of indifference toward one another may restore their former closeness and warmth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick may attain the peace of mind which grows from appreciating their special role in joining Christ in His suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may share in the peace and happiness of God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. God, our Father, you know what is good for us. Rid our hearts of all bitterness and bless our efforts to love all people. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering, we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died. In your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Laging tapat at laging to.